Hey, Karen here with Photo SEO Lab. And in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to choose a Wix template for your new photography website. So if you're looking to get your photography site off to the best possible start, you wanna make sure you have a few things lined up to give it the best chance, really. Um, the great news is that Wix do loads of templates. So if we head over here to the template area and you can find this at just wix.com forward slash website forward slash templates. So we're collecting all templates at the moment and they've got templates for all sorts of businesses. Now, the good news is there is a section specifically for photography. However, personally, I think um, there's some templates in some of the other sections that could be a better fit. And I'm going to explain why. So if we look at this first one, for example, let's just load this up just so we can see it in full view. You'll see here that the menu is over the photo. Now, although that is looks really lovely with this photo it's going to restrict what photo you can use to have behind the menu and it's really important that your new website meets accessibility guidelines and also it's really user friendly if a user is struggling to find your menu then they could end up leaving your site so i'd highly recommend avoiding having text over the photo like this as well although it does look good um, and going for something on a static white background instead so instead of this, for example, um, maybe having like with this one where the menu is just up at the top. Um, now, looking at this as an example, um, with this site, there's lots of kind of links to different sections, but not really any space for text. And I'd highly recommend really having your your work in um, either like a kind of full screen or just really large and impactful, kind of like on that previous template there. And that is going to just really help um, make as much impact as possible. So I think avoiding um, text over a menu, making sure you've got a static menu, also making sure the template you choose has space for some text. So if we look at this one, for example, there's lots of photos not really any words anywhere. Now, that is absolutely fine for a fashion photographer, but for weddings or for newborn or portraiture, it's not going to be a fit at all. So I'd highly recommend really kind of keeping in mind what genre of photography you're in and making sure that you've got some basics in that template just to get you off to the best possible start, really. Now, there is a really nice template for family and newborn photographers. Now there's this one here that could be adapted to have some text in. So we've got a nice space for a title at the top and this is where you could put your H1 heading. And then there's quite a lot of photos, but what you could do is break this gallery up um, and add uh, a section for text. If you're wanting to do as little initial work as possible though, and just have a template that's as close to being perfectly ready as possible, then there's another one further down here, I think it's on the next page, that I think is pretty much just good to go straight off the bat. So this one here, uh, which is described as being for a family photographer, if we just open this up, you see there's space at the top for your main keyword phrase that could be H1, nice little space already for maybe something about the style of photography you do. If we scroll down, we've got three lovely big pictures and then um, nice little title here as well. Some text space, links through to other content. And I think this would be a great first start template for a family photographer because you're really not going to have to do much in terms of adding text sections. All you need to do is switch the photos out, maybe change the, the titles and things, and um, maybe change background colors if you wanted to alter the palette. So this would be a really kind of quick way of just getting your website up and running really. Um, there's also a footer already built in there. We've got the, the menu at the bottom as well. And crucially, we have a nice uh, menu with a plain background. So that's not gonna blend in. So I think this one would be a, my kind of um, template of choice if I was gonna be starting a, a kind of family photography business. When it comes to wedding photography though, I think that some of the wedding photography options in here are maybe not ideal from um, an SEO point of view if you're wanting to have as, as many things lined up for starting as possible. So I think as an alternative, there's a couple of other um, genres that you could look at. So if we go to the travel, for example, 
this I thought was a really nice one for um, our wedding photography website. We could be linking these to maybe like about portfolio, uh, maybe wedding albums. You've got space for text at the top and it, it would be easy to add another text block under here. This could show maybe some of the wedding blogs that you'd been featured in. And then you've got links already kind of lined up in the, the template structure that would link through to blog posts. And that could be linking to wedding venues that you'd photographed at. We've got a nice big Instagram um, space, um, Instagram feed space at the bottom here. And then uh, we've already got a kind of um, quite nicely optimized footer. So this might be an option for wedding photographers. Uh, there is another travel one that is a similar type of vibe. So again, we've got a nice static menu here on the right, nice big photo, so you can have a really impactful um, initial photo, which is static as well, which means your website is gonna be faster to load. And if we scroll down, we've got some nice space here for your kind of H1 header, your main keyword, nice little intro section, and then links to three different sections, which again could be kind of about portfolio, wedding albums or your blog and then we have links to some blogs and it would be easy to add just a, a couple of sections above and below this to add text in the footer is not as kind of um pre as well kind of like uh, already laid out on this one but it is really easy to add one afterwards so i think if you are looking for a wedding photography template i'd encourage you to look at maybe some of the different genres there because really what we're looking for it's a nice big photo, space for kind of clear heading and a little bit of text so that we can connect with our ideal client as soon as possible. The other one I wanted to show you before I wrap this video up was the wedding planner template. So this one is really pretty. Um, if we just go into the main template area. And type in planner, you'll see it comes up here for wedding planner. And this one is it's got that kind of static menu. It's a really nice kind of luxe um, palette colors already, which I think is lovely. And we've got some nice style in here with the different sections. So this would be a nice way of maybe talking about the different things that you do and adding a nice call, call to action at the bottom there. And the footer is already kind of planned out. So I think if I was gonna be choosing um, a template for a wedding photography site today, I'd be tempted to go with this one. I think it is really lovely. And, you know, I think there are some other templates in here um, that would be options that aren't necessarily photography, uh, but that are gonna give you what you need in terms of clear headings, clear menu, and also links to those crucial other pages on your website, just to get people really kind of interacting with your site and clicking through to the other core pages. So I hope that helps in terms of choosing your new Wix template and I'll speak to you guys in the next video.